guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Rosie and in today's video I'm going to be making a little mini album junk journal using these boxed cards that I have so I've had these um, for quite a while now I originally picked them up at Joann's um, they must have been on sale or something, and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with them. So they sat for a couple of years, and today I said, no, let's make something with it. For our mini album, what I did was, this is a Maggie Holmes, an American Crafts Maggie Holmes boxed card set. And there are 40 cards and envelopes to this set and let me just show you the different um, patterns that are on this on the different cards here so what I've done is I have selected five I believe five let me just make sure one two three four five six six I've picked out six different cards and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place them together to make our album so the first thing that I did was I took each card and just flipped it inside out so that you see the white because that's how we're gonna be attaching them so let's go ahead and get started so the first one Let's see. Let me do my cover first. I am thinking. All right. Let's go ahead and do the cover first so I always know which way my patterns should be. Now I am going to be making some pockets out of this. So let's see. This one here doesn't matter. And the size of the cards are four and a half wide by five and a half tall. Okay, so we have our front. We open up the card. Here's the inside. And then here will be the next one. So for the next one, I want this to be a pocket. So I just placed double-sided tape on three sides so I can have a top a top loading pocket let's go ahead and get rid of that and and let's go ahead and just put these together I'm trying to figure out the best way with this new camera setup how to do that all right so let's see here Let's see here. I've got to, I've just got to find my groove as to how I want this to show up. All right, maybe I should do it this way so it's facing me. I think that might work out better. Okay. Okay, and it's okay if you see a little bit here. We can trim that. Not a problem. Let me just go ahead and grab this here. And I'm just going to trim it. It's just a hair off. So not a big deal. We're always flexible when it comes to crafting. Right, guys? Yeah, so you should have seen my face when I heard my camera drop. I just about died. I was like, that's it. You know, and and not that my camera is, you know, thousands of dollars, but it's, you know, it's expensive. It's not a cheapy camera, so... All right, let me just see here. Get back to the beginning here. So here, here, and here. So the next one I'm going to do is, I'm just going to place it right on top, no pockets. Okay, and here is my next one. Okay. 
I think it might work better if I do it on one side. Make sure I'm in frame here. Tuck in any tape that is showing. Okay, that looks good and that looks good. Okay. Okay, so now we have that page and then this page. This page I want to have a pocket side loading, so I've only placed double-sided tape on these three sides. So let's get rid of the paper backing on this one. I'll bring in my next page and remove the paper backing. Okay, so let's do it this way, and I will do the same thing. Okay, there is that page. Okay, this one here, I have a top loading, so I've only placed double-sided tape on the three sides. So here, here, and here. Bring in the next page. And I have my... There we go. Make sure it's facing the right way. Okay, and let's do the same thing. Let's place it down. Okay. Okay, and then the next page is going to be just no pockets, so I have my double-sided tape on all four sides. Now, typically I use glue when making pockets, but in this instance, I decided to just do tape because I had it handy. Hey guys, I'm interrupting the video super quick to let you know that I've set myself a goal of attaining 500 additional new subscribers by the beginning of September. If you're interested in helping a little old me out, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below so that I may thank you personally. I'm going to be hosting my very first giveaway around September that's going to be open to all visible subscribers. It's going to be a lot of fun, so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, enough about that. Back to the video. Okay, so here's the next page, just making sure that it's facing the right way. And I will just lay this down. Okay, let's make sure it's as even as it can be. All right, get that well. Oh, I'm just noticing, and I'm going to notice certain things, you know, as I kind of work with this new setup. But if I move the desk, apparently it's moving the camera. Hopefully it's not too bad. And you guys, again, leave me a comment down below and just let me know what you think. If you notice the camera shaking a lot, give me any feedback that you can so that way I can try and resolve any of the issues. All right, guys, so now I'm on the back page. So I've added my double-sided tape to all four sides. All right. Let's get rid of the garbage and let's make sure it is going on the correct way. Okay. 
okay. And honestly, this doesn't take up too much paper. All right, guys. So now let's go ahead and just make any holes that we need to make for the pockets that we've made. So we've made one pocket here. So I'm just going to bring in my We Are Memory and I am just going to make a notch. So we know that that's something supposed to go there. We have that. Let's see. This one, does it have anything? Nope. Does this one? Yep. Okay, so this one here has a pocket, a side loading pocket. So I'm just going to make a little hole there. So then on this page, we have a top loading pocket. So I'll make a little notch. Okay. And I think that is all. Let me see if I'm mistaken here. Just double checking. And then the front. No. Okay. Now it's time to start decorating. My favorite part. All right. I'm going to fast forward through this, but I will leave it in so that you can see the different pieces that I'm going to be using to decorate. Let's have some fun. that's straight okay that's good all right guys so that is the cover so there is the cover so far all right guys let's go ahead and make a pocket for our album to sit in unfortunately I don't have any 12 by 12 Maggie Holmes paper. I only have the 6x8s and the 6x6, six so I did have to venture out to get another piece, but I found a pretty green that I think will bring out the green within each of the letters. So I've done that. The background is very colorful, and that's what's going to be on the inside. So let's go ahead and get started with our um, scoring. So first we're going to score at, I believe, three and a half and eight and a half. And then we're going to turn it and score down the middle at six. Okay. Let's go ahead and put away the scoreboard. Now what we want to do is fold and crease our score marks and again let me know guys if you find that my table is kind of bouncing around I'm trying really hard not to have it bounce too too much and hopefully um, this particular view with this new camera setup is going to be good for you all right so now what we want to do is we want to make a slit and we're going to do it on the six inch score line let me see maybe this way is easier so if we're looking at it you have the two panels here and here we're gonna we're gonna cut from here to the first score mark and I'm not quite sure which way you can see better so I think I'm just gonna do it this way So I'm only going to cut up to that first score mark. Oh, 
Okay. So now what you have are these free and these free. So let me just think, how am I going to do this? Yes. Okay. So you want to turn it, depending on the pattern that you want to use, turn it upside down so that the pattern you want to show is on the bottom. We're going to take one corner and fold it like this so it lines up to your score mark and we're going to do that on all four sides and I'm just turning it here just so it's easier for me to see all right and it's a pretty busy pattern but I think we can do it right guys we'll just keep doing it again all right, and then our last one. I saw this on, um, I think it was Pinterest. I'm going to go ahead and find it, and I'll make sure to tell you guys where I found it. I'll link it down in the video description down below. I'm so sorry, guys. I tried to locate the original creator of where I found how to make this pocket on Pinterest, and I could not locate it. If you know of the creator, can you please leave a comment down below in the comments? I'd really appreciate it. I'm typically really good about making notes about where my inspiration comes from, and this time I forgot to write it down. So so my apologies. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and just glue or tape, whichever you choose, these down. So put that like that, and then we'll do the same thing on this side. Just a little bead of glue. Okay. We'll do the next. And it's... Okay. So now what you're left with is something that looks like this. Giving you perspective. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and just fold it, kind of keeping um, that you want to keep the edges as lined up as possible, but if you don't, no worries. We can always snip them so that they do line up, so it's never a problem. Make sure you crease any folds. Let's go ahead and do that again on this side and on this side. All right, guys. So now this is what you should be left with. This is what it should look like. Now what we want to do is we want to adhere glue down the bottom. Okay, so fold in and then fold the other one over. Okay. And let's just make sure we press that down really well. Okay. All right. So now what you should have is something that looks like this. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to open it up. We want to place glue down at the bottom and only on one side. So let me show you. So we're going to place glue all at the bottom. 
and then only on one side doesn't matter which side but whatever side you choose okay so we have the bottom and the side whatever side you did not put glue on the side that's the side we're going to bring in first so let's press that down and then this is the side where I did place glue so that's last to be folded. That way our side is adhered. Alright guys and let's just do that to both sides and we are good. Okay. Alright guys so now what you have are these closed edges. Now what we're going to do is just fold it in half and then crease it. Pretty simple, right? Very simple folder or pocket. But now what's nice about this is that you have a pocket here as well as here and you could have a side pocket as well so it depends on what you want to do let me go ahead and just bring in our album and that fits very nicely now of course i haven't gone all out in decorating we still need to decorate the album but as you can see that will sit really nicely or we can glue the sides and have it go in here and peek out we could do that as well we can place it in one and have some additional either photos pages whatever you want on the other side just giving you ideas we can attach another page here so that it's an easel so that it can perpetually stand up let me just put this back in so that it can stand up well you can't see on that side but it could stand up like that and again on the flip side you can have additional photos or whatever so now really it's just a matter of decorating so let's go ahead and do that and i'll be right back Alright guys, so I finished decorating this little summer portfolio. So here you have it. Let me show you the front first. So I have my summer word backed with my green pattern cardstock. Layered up some different embellishments. And then I added this little charm dangle. I included several different styles little tool i have a tassel the green tassel to bring out the green in the word a little pink pom-pom and a couple of gold charms let me see if i can do it this way i'm still getting used to this setup guys all right so there is one that i love and then i have a gold rose isn't that pretty i absolutely love it so we have that let me do a quick run through of the pages there is no special binding and then here is the back all right so let's do a very quick flip through so when you open it up you have your page you have a pocket there's another pocket up here here's the next page with a pocket here to include additional items here i just play some different stickers here's a library pocket and this here is two pockets so you have the larger library pocket here and then you have a vellum pocket here and then you have a pocket in the side here i just layered up some stickers here's a chipboard sticker here is a pocket up top here is the next page and then you have 
another pocket here. Here's the next page and is again I have a library pocket here as well as a pink vellum diagonal pocket here. And we're back to the back. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me. Um, I hope that you have an incredibly beautifully blessed day. And until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative.